Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be talking about something that should be talked about because quite a few of you have actually asked me about this before. So I figured, you know what, let's just talk about it. So the Mazda 3, we got a video about the Mazda 3. Today we're going to be talking about how much money I spent on this car in total. Uh, like I said, a lot of you guys have asked, you know, how much have you spent on uh, maintenance? How much did you spend on the car? Or how much did you buy it for? how much of mods did you put on and stuff like that. So um, before I start and start listing off prices, because for some reason you guys, if I say any high prices, there's always one of you guys that likes to comment or reply to whoever I reply to and say, that's BS, you didn't spend that much money on that car. Is it like a jealousy thing, dude? Like, y'all gotta chill. This build took Sorry, I don't want to say build because I'll get another comment down below saying it's not a build. You didn't put power on it. This car was a multiple year project. I really, you know, honestly, it looks like it did a lot of things to it, but I didn't. Looking at this photo right here, all you can see are OEM side skirts, aftermarket wheels, aftermarket tail lights, mud flaps, black badges, shaded lights. Like there's honestly not a lot. Okay, so we're gonna pretty much, we're gonna add like a total price, like total, total, total price of like the entire amount. So this costs, this is repairs, mods, repairs and mods, okay? But I'm gonna do them like separately. Okay, and let's start. So basically, what, what, what do you guys wanna start with? I do have the full mod list on a video that you guys will see in the top right of your screen, or I will leave the link in the description below. I'm even gonna, dude, honestly, I'm gonna include paint just to really piss you guys off. So everything that I painted, you know how many cans of paint I put into this? So we're gonna start with mods, okay? First, this is gonna be the most interesting thing. I'm gonna list off all the mods I did, and I'm gonna calculate them as well. A lot of the things were painted, so let's add, two cans of paint for all the interior stuff I did just and wrap. Let's say that, you know what, let's just put $20 towards wrap and paint. Even though I spent over 200 easy on paint and wrap, just so the haters don't get hated, we're going to put $20, okay? So we painted the AC vents, we painted the steering wheel emblem, painted the tachometer rings, uh, we got a e-brake button, from a base model Mazda 3, which I got for free because I stole that. The AC knobs, those cost me $10. Um, steering wheel adapter kit, that was, I think that was 30 bucks. Uh, reverse camera, that was, I got that for 20 bucks. Pioneer double den deck with a dash kit, that was with the dash, the so the double den dash with the dash kit, what I paid for that was about 300 bucks for both of those. So we're already at 380, just on interior. Ride shift boots, uh, that was 30 bucks. Uh, Mazda Speed pedals, ooh, how much were those? 60, okay, we're gonna put 60. Oh, we have Mazda Speed three seats. I got those for 300. Short throw shifter was 110. JVR solid shift bushings, I think those were only, red door fabric, that was 10 bucks, I remember that. I remember going and getting that fabric. Um, LED interior kit, that was 20 bucks. For uh, door speakers, 200 bucks. The sub and amp with the box and the wiring kit was about $300 easy. Uh, red Fowell LEDs were 20 bucks and door striker covers were $5. So just on interior alone, we're talking about, and this is Canadian prices, right? Okay. So what I'm telling you in Canadian is you guys got to convert that to US. And like, obviously the conversion rates were different at these times. I mean, these were like two years ago when I was buying this stuff for just interior mods only. We spent about $1,455 in just doing our interior, putting things on in our interior. Like, like this says, this is amp, sub, wiring and seats and stuff like that. The Mazda Speed seats, like this is everything that was not in the car that I put in or switched out with something else that I paid for, okay? So we're at 1,455 and that is interior, okay? Now I'm not including shipping prices or anything. I'm, I'm, this is the price converted to Canadian, basically what I paid. But what came out of my PayPal or my debit statement, this is it, okay? For the engine bay, in this situation, we did put a short ram intake on it, but that didn't really count, and I got that for a gift too, so I'm not gonna count that. Throttle body grounding, dude, like five bucks. JDM fender washers, those were 10 bucks, I got those. Uh, and the Corksport Power Series exhaust, 399 to Canadian is about 
500 bucks. For that entire exhaust to come to my come to my door in Canada was 800 bucks after shipping and 850 bucks after shipping and everything. But just to be fair to you guys, the price that I paid for the exhaust itself was $500 Canadian, okay? Well, almost that $2,000. Um, and now we're gonna work on the exterior. The RGB headlights, LED headlights that I had in it and all the other LEDs that I had in it, uh, the RGB headlights were 120 bucks. Fog light DRL mod, the fog lights cost me $60 with LEDs which cost me $20. So we're at 2,170 right now. LED high beam, I gave that guy, I think I gave him 90 bucks for those. The open mouth grill, nine, I think it might've been 100 to be honest with you. License plate relocator, I spent 50 bucks on that. The base and our front lip, I gave the guy 120 for that. Shaded fender, fender blinkers and reflectors. So this includes shading my taillights when I have them as well. So a can of BHT nightshade is 15 bucks. OEM GT side skirts, I paid him 150 i think bc racing br coilovers those were 1440 i remembered that exact price neo neo gen tires so the tires that were on the wheels those were 680 the we the actual wheels were 890 i believe the rally arm mud flaps i got those for 120 because they were the universal ones uh rear fenders rolled that was free when Deflectors, 50 bucks. Carbon fiber subby antenna, I remember that. That was like $8.99. Uh, the Nino tire lettering, that was 130 bucks. That was stupid, but it looks great. Uh, brake calipers, I spent a lot of money on brake caliper paint. So we're gonna just call it easy at 20 bucks because it is expensive for the kit. Evil M badge, 10 bucks. Spider LED tail lights, 300, 300 to be fair. Um, LED reverse light rear signals, those were about 20 bucks. And a tow hook, which I spent $40 on. So with that being said, that is every single, pretty sure that's every single modification on the car as of current. Now, if we're gonna talk about things that used to be on the car, like wheels, other wheels, I've had about like, in my time of owning this car, I think I've had like three different sets of wheels on that, on this. So that's easy, thou, like 500 plus tires. I mean, the winter tires I had on this car were a thousand dollars, right? So I mean, just add that on there. I could probably tell you I would be at an easy $8,000. I included everything that used to be on the car. So as the car stands of right now the total comes to six thousand three hundred and ninety four dollars all modification and honestly like thinking about it that's not even a lot of money if you guys are interested in wanting to know the repairs that i did for this if i can remember it went for when i first got it for a fluid flush and it got an engine mount done which was a thousand dollar bill um and then in other times i we did the thermostat which was 394 dollars. i remember that exact price uh, uh, that was my first road trip. I got an engine light on the way home and that was very scary. And then we did the front struts, uh, the sway bar, sway bar laying and something else, I believe. And I think that maintenance was about, that was a thousand, that was a thousand bucks, thousand, thousand two, maybe we'll just put it down a thousand. So, uh, total maintenance, I think that was it, honestly, in the I think I had it for about 30 or 40,000 kilometers. Um, 30,000 kilometers, I spent $2,394 on maintenance in the two years that I owned it. In total costs, I basically spent, I easily, I easily, okay, like I said, in the amount of money I spent in this car total, it was easily over $9,000. In the two years that I owned it, driving it for 30,000 kilometers. That is actually quite a, that's quite a bit of money. There you guys have it. That's the amount of money I spent on the Mazda 3. So, uh, with that being said, you know, I, and then you guys will ask me, you know, was it worth it? You know, are you happy that you spent that amount of money? And you know what? Honestly, looking at where I am right now with the Mazda Speed and the loan that I'm on with it and, you know, financing and shit like that, I'm so glad that I was able to spend that amount of money and have this. Meanwhile, I'm like, all I've done to the Speed is a motor mount and an access port that's been collecting dust and an intake that I still haven't paid Warren back for that I feel like taking off and giving it back to him because I can't guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this if you guys have any questions comments leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them but anyways guys keep it real I'll see you guys in the next one